we dairy farm in an area called Athlone, uh, which is in West Gippsland, Victoria. And here we operate 270 hectares and milk around about 600 cows. We initially started off with three A3 Laley robots, and then in 2013 we upgraded and put in four A4 Laley robots. And on the home farm we've got six A5 robots. They both run separately. They are linked by central paddocks, which we can swap cows around, but basically the two robot systems run separately. The reason we went down the AMS milking system initially was to try and keep it as a family run business. We started a partnership with Laley back in 2009. When we were investigating the robots system, we found Laley very easy to get along with. We knew all robots were going to work, but we just we found that their actual backup and their support was outstanding. The local Laley Centre was our main point of contact and they were terrific at that. They were willing to let us, because we have had some previous experience with the setup, they were, they were willing to discuss uh, what may work and what may not work. Back in September, we made that transition from our 40 unit rotary to the Laley uh, A5 robots. It was rather smooth. We'd been down that path before, so we weren't too daunted by how it was all going to go. We knew it was going to have some challenges. Uh, we also knew that once we got the cows up to the shed, that they would probably be comfortable to go through them because we had been walking them through the robots whilst we're still milking in the rotary shed. It's a different mindset, so you've got to let cows try and work it out themselves a little bit. Uh, you can't generally be pushing them all the time because they will just stamp their ground. They want to be freely moving themselves. Once you make that decision to go down the robot system, you need to just step back a little bit and just let cows show you the way. The features that we like about the AMS system is the relaxed, voluntary nature of the whole milking system. You've still got to work as a farmer. You're still doing those routine jobs, whether they're fencing or, or sowing paddocks or fertiliser. So those jobs are all the same. The milking process is taken care of by the AMS uh, units, but the cow flow is all voluntary. So cows are free to move on the farm wherever they like. We also get so much data from the system Cow health is a major thing. The reports that you can get off the system is amazing. You can pick up cows that are sick quite very quickly. In the old rotary system, you definitely had to be watching all the time. It used to worry me a little bit, whereas I've got a lot more confidence now with the Laley system that anybody could come in and look at a report and pick up a cow that's sick. There's a view that uh, you have to be very tech savvy to, to go down the road of, of, of AMS farming and, and, and you do have to have an understanding, but the software is quite simple to follow. The robot themselves, the AMS units themselves are very easy to follow on the screen as well. The business structure and, and, and how you pay for the system of an AMS system is, labour's got to be the main one. Labour is very hard to get at the moment, but it's also reasonably expensive. With the astronauts now, it's allowed us to have a better quality of life, physically and also probably mentally in a lot of ways. It's quite uh, draining at times when you know you have to be in a conventional shed, you have to be there at whether it's 5.30 in the morning and 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It gives us a lot of flexibility in our life the robot system. We're heavily involved in a lot of committees, a lot of organisations. We've got seven beautiful grandkids that we want to be part of. So the robot systems allowed to give us more flexibility in our life. So it's a win-win. Mm -hmm.